this is the first problem on bisection method find the positive value of cos x equal to x e power x using bisection method let f of x equal to cos x minus x e power x initial solution the positive value means greater than 0 for these type of problems cos x is equal to x e power x sin x equal to x x equal to cos x these type of problems most probably the answer is between 0 1 1 2 or 2 3 let f of x equal to cos x minus e power x this is the first step this is a given function cos x equal to x e power x f of x equal to cos x e minus x e power x f of 0 equal to cos 0 minus 0 e power 0 that equal to 1 f of 1 equal to cos 1 minus e 0 0.5403 minus 2.7182 which is a negative value f of 0 is greater than 0 f of 1 is less than 0 therefore the root of f of x lies between 0 and 1 now the iteration process starts the step 1 the root lies between 0 and 1 we have to compute the middle value of 0 and 1 the first approximate root is x1 equal to 0 plus 1 by 2 that equal to 0 0.5 For we have to compute f of x1 f of x1 equal to f of x equal to cos x minus x e power x f of x1 equal to 0 f of 0 0.5 equal to cos 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 into e power 0 0.5 using calculator we have we have to do this type of calculations cos 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.877582 minus this one which is the positive value 0 0.87 minus 0 0.82 is a positive value at 0 f of x is positive at 1 it is negative at middle point bisection at middle point 0 0.5 it is po positive so the root lies between 0 0.5 and 1 next step starts step 2 the root lies between 0 0.5 and 1 the second approximate root is the middle value of 0 0.5 and 1. 0 0.5 plus 1 by 2 that equal to 0 0.75. We have to compute f of x2. f of x2 equal to cos 0 0.75 minus x e power x. The value of this one is also negative value. At 0 0.5 it is positive. At 1 it is negative. At 0 0.75 it is negative. So the root, root lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. This is step 2. Step 3. The root lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. The third approximate solution is x3 equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.75 by 2. x3 equal to 0 0.625. Now we have to compute the value of f of x3. f of x is nothing but cos x minus x e power x. Cos x3 minus x3 e power x3 which is equal to negative now 0.5 it is positive 0.75 it is negative at 0.625 it is negative so the root lies between next interval is between 0.5 and 0.625 now the step 4 the root lies between 0.5 and 0.625 the fourth approximate solution is x4 equal to 0.5 plus 0.625 by 2 x4 equal to the average of just 2 is 0 0.5625 f of x4 <coughs> the calculator is must for solving this type of problems cos 0 cos x4 minus x4 into e power x4 which is a negative value now the line once again at x4 it is negative at 5625 it is negative value at 5625 it is negative value at 5 it is positive at 0 0.625 it is negative f of x value so the root lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.5625. The next step, step 5. The root lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.5625. The fifth, fifth step, the fifth approximate root. The fifth approximate solution is x5 equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5625 by 2. The average value is 0 0.53125. We have to compute f of x5 cos 0.53125 minus 0.53125 into e power 0.53125 which is once again a negative value 0.86 minus 0 0.90 0 0.9 
then it's point it means point out the value is not a matter is it positive or negative we have to observe here at 5 it is positive at point 5625 it is a negative value at the middle one second it is negative so the next root lies between point 5 and point 53125 this is step 5 next step 6 the root lies between 0.5 and 0.53125. The sixth approximate solution is average of these two values 0.5 and 0.53125. 0.5 plus 0.53125 by 2. This is called x6 equal to 0.515625. We have to compute f6 here cos x minus x e power x value which is a positive value because 0.869 minus 0 0.863 9 minus 3 in third decimal place it is a positive 0 0.5 it is positive 0 0.53125 it is a negative yet middle it is positive so the root lies between 0 0.515625 to 53125 next step 7 now we have to compute the seventh approximate root. step 7 the root lies between those two values the seventh approximate solution is average of those two values that is equal to 0 0.5234375 f of x7 equal to f of x7 is this value f of x7 equal to cos of x7 minus x7 into e power x7 which is in turn a negative value this can be what is the how to compute cos of 0 0.5234375 means just in calculator press this value in radians mode and the cos of this value it will give this value it is a negative value because 0 0.86 0 0.88 88 is greater than 86 at 0.515625 it is positive x7 x7 means the recently computed average value it is negative and it is negative 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 positive the root lies between positive and negative so the next approximate root is 0 0.515625 and x7. Step 8. The root lies between 0.515625 and 0.5234375. The eighth approximate solution is x8 equal to like this 0.5195325. f of x8 equal to cos x8 minus x8 into e power x8 which is a negative value once again on the line this is a positive value negative negative the root lies between not x8 and this value 515625 and x8 the root lies between these two values this is step 8 step 9 the root lies between those two values the ninth approximate solution is the average of those two values 515625 5195325 by 2 it is the value is equal to this one and we have to compute f of x9 f of x9 is positive value cos x minus x e power x this one at the starting value it is positive it is negative it is positive so the root lies between next in next step the root lies between x9 and this value 0.5195325 Step 10. The average of those two values is x10. The, the tenth approximate solution is this one 0 0.518554687. f of x10 is a negative. Once again, the same process is repeated. Now the root lies between this value and this value. Next, next in eleventh step the root lies between these two values i am computing the average of these two values the 11th approximate solution is this one 0.518 now here no need to compute f what is the value of f x 11 up to three decimal accuracy i am finding the solution in the previous step x10 it is 518 in this step also 518 if the problem is up to four steps means I have to go for equal for four decimal places. I am, in this problem, I am computing up to three decimal places. 
it is 518 in step number 10 in 11 also it is 518 so up to three decimal places the solution for f of x is x equal to 0 0.518 the positive value therefore the final last statement of the problem the positive value of cos x equal to x e power x is 0 0.518 Okay, in this problem we will see one more problem, next uh, three problems I will give assignment work. Thank you.